Bosnia has kind of this weird border where there's just like a little strip of land that goes straight through Croatia. So our bus trip this morning took forever. We had to exit the Bosnia border, enter Croatia, and then do it all over again. For some reason, they ran us through like three borders. I don't know why. It took forever. Forever being six hours. Yeah. When Google Maps says it's a two hour drive. Yeah, I thought today was gonna be a little shorter, but the drive was beautiful. So many scenic overlooks, crystal clear water, really nice. But we just made it to Dubrovnik, which I'm really excited about. We were supposed to go here back in fall of 2020, but obviously that didn't happen. We're here and we're gonna show you around our Airbnb real quick and then go out and explore for the day. This Airbnb is actually just outside of the old town Dubrovnik. It's extremely expensive to stay here in the summer. So um, we got this place that's just a few minutes walk away, but it's right in between the beach area and some hiking and then the old town. There's a bus stop right outside, which is really nice. And then if you need to, you can catch an Uber and it costs less to Uber every single day there and back than to just stay in the heart of the old town. And you get to see more. So what do you want to do first? Get dinner. Wow, Croatia is so nice. I love Croatia. I miss the ocean. You miss Croatia? <laughs> For sure. Lots of stairs. You know we're gonna have glutes of steel by the end of this trip. We are starting out our meal with our coffee. You know, our 5 p.m. coffee. We're in Europe, it's normal. It's weird for me. It's good coffee. It's very smooth. It doesn't have that like, uh, you know how cheap coffees can be kind of bitter? <laughs> yeah, I know. I've been drinking a lot of coffee too. I'm so tired lately. I don't know what it is. I feel like like COVID happened and just I haven't like, had energy since. Brandy turned 30. That's what it is. Oh yeah. You're, okay, just that's not it. Your, you're not in your 20s anymore. I'm having the margarita pizza. Let's see how it is. <laughs> the dough feels right. This isn't, you know, my favorite pizza I've ever had, but it has nice cheese. This is a salsicha pizza, which is like a sausage. And it has, it looks like broccoli and some other like cruciferous vegetable on it. That's weird. It's like sour broccoli. Like it's not bad, it's just weird. I've never had pizza like this. Maybe it's like a lemon spinach and broccoli. We probably should have read the ingredients. <laughs> it's okay if you don't love it. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this. <laughs> Overall, not my favorite pizza place in Croatia, but it's all right. Yeah, really, it's hard though after being in Bosnia, coming over here and having the prices just jump. Uh, it's a thirty-six dollar meal, which makes it more expensive than the most expensive meal we had <laughs> in all of Bosnia in three weeks by like ten, fifteen dollars, something like that. I mean, not to really like compare the two. I love both, but uh, Bosnia is cheaper. Bosnia is much cheaper. <laughs> yeah. But also, Dubrovnik's kind of known for being just an expensive city, and it kind of always has been. It's always been a really big tourism spot. And then, as I'm sure you guys know, it um, was the set for Game of Thrones, and it just totally blew it up. We're gonna go down to the old town and see it for the first time. I think it's about a 40 minute walk from where we're staying. Shouldn't be too bad. Nice, brisk uh, walk in the- 90 look. degree. 80% humidity weather. Yeah. <laughs> this is so cool. Look at that. It's kind of hard to see. <laughs> okay, you'll have to take my word for it. It's beautiful. Four whole years I've been <laughs> dreaming of coming here and finally. I know, and then it's right there. It's right. So Dubrovnik is, the old town is basically just like this big circle of like old city wall and it's supposed to be like old castle palace, just 
beyond the wall and within it. Beautiful so far, just beautiful, but so packed. Big, busier than I ever saw, like splitters at her. Yeah, much, much busier. Busier than I've seen practically anywhere in Europe ever. Yeah, that's true. I've I never don't seen know. seen crowd control coordinates before. Yeah, that was a little interesting, that little like roping off they did. It kind of like bottlenecked everyone in. Yeah, I don't know if this is just like because it's the first summer back after COVID or if Dubrovnik's just that crowded. I think it's just that crowded. Yeah, it's probably better than it usually is still. What are they moving with that basket? Meals, perhaps. Oh, that's such a good idea. It's from the kitchen up. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you rubbing that spiky plant? You know, I read online that a lot of people think Dubrovnik is ugly inside of the city walls, and I have no idea what they're talking about. It's so pretty, just every single alley you walk down. And just like that, we're back outside of the Old Town Walls. I can't believe they charge almost 100 bucks to go walk on that. That's, well, not per person, about 50 per person to go up and walk on that, which is kind of a bummer. Yeah, like, I could see, like, paying a few dollars to help up keep with the restoration and stuff, but, like, this is too much. Yeah. There is traffic. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Now what do you want to do? Go wander around. Okay, more wandering is in store. My batteries are probably all gonna die quick here. So this might end suddenly. Thank you.